Get out your Dutch oven, because we're making beef stew today. Start by browning three pounds of sirloin in about two tablespoons of oil. You want to make sure the pan and oil are hot before you add that beef. I'm using a cast iron Dutch oven by Lodge Manufacturing. They're really great. Wow, just look at those juices. Okay, now, after browning up that beef, you're going to want to add the following ingredients. Two medium onions sliced, one clove of garlic minced, two cups of water, two bay leaves, oh, you know, black pepper to taste. I usually put quite a bit in there. Uh, half a teaspoon, teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of salt, and you're going to love this one, paprika, oh, about one teaspoon, and finally, a couple of dashes of Worcestershire sauce. Now, if you want to get creative, now's the time to do that. You can add your family's favorite hot sauce. All right, let's stir that all up and bring it to a boil. I hope you enjoyed that nice jazz music. All right, let's go ahead and stir everything up real good. And now that we've brought it to a boil, turn the fire down low, put the lid on, and simmer for about an hour and a half. Okay, let's see what we have. Perfect. Lots of juice, tender meat, and this house smells delicious. All right, let's stir it up a little bit and get ready to add the vegetables. You're going to add six potatoes diced, six carrots diced, and two stalks of celery diced. Folks, keep those diced sizes pretty small. It's going to cook a lot better if they're smaller. Okay, let's stir that up real good. Make sure everything has liquid on top of it. And what I mean by that is you want to make sure your liquid line is covering the vegetables and meat. If it's not, you need to add a little bit of water. I'm adding about a cup. And then I'm going to stir that and push everything down. Make sure it's down in the liquid real good. And at this point, let's go ahead and put the lid back on. Leave the fire at low and simmer this for about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, let's see what we have. Wow, that looks great. Okay, let's check for doneness on those vegetables. Make sure they're nice and tender. If they are, then it is ready to serve. This is enough to feed four to six adults, but you can easily double the recipe if you want. Leftovers of this stew are delish. Thanks for watching. Bon appetit!